We're getting ready for our 2024 season and we're going to talk through some of the trips we already have planned and some things that we don't quite have planned uh, but are going to get ready in the next couple of weeks. Let's dive right in. We'll do it this way. So our first trip, we are heading to Arkansas um, and we'll be stopping in Oklahoma for a night. Uh, that's a weird one because we're going to stay at a casino and Emily and I have actually stayed there before. One of the reasons we're staying there is it's really just a drop off point or a, uh, a stopover. Mm -hmm. And we found out last time if you stay there for a night and just one night and sign up for their little benefits card, you get a free night of camping. It's called Windstar Casino. It's in Oklahoma. It's a pretty nice stopover. They have quite a few amenities and we're able to um, even we even told them, hey, we're not planning on gambling. And they said, doesn't matter. Just sign up for our card. So it was pretty, um, pretty nice. Very well kept. And the, do uh, the dogs enjoyed it because there was a lot of room to run around and, you know, space. Yep. And then, yeah, we'll have access to bathrooms and showers and everything. And then the RV spots are actually quite nice. So water, electric, um, but also they're concrete pads. Uh, so it's kind of a, a nice place to stay, especially as a stopover. After our quick stopover in Oklahoma, we're going to make our way to Crater of Diamonds State Park in Arkansas. Uh, what's kind of cool about the state park is you can go and, and dig for diamonds. So they've got like excavation areas where you can go and actually dig. Um, my understanding is you get to keep anything you find and they'll actually grade it for you. And then while we're staying there, we're also, because we're relatively close to uh, Hot Springs National Park, we're going to head to Hot Springs National Park where we will go to the only brewery inside a national park. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one will be fun. Uh, as far as I'm, as I can tell, like, and, and I haven't read up enough as, as I should have, or as much as I should have, Hot Springs is really kind of like a little, a little town, um, where they've got shops and, and the brewery and, and things like that. Um, but we're pretty excited to go down there and get a new national park and particularly a national park that is, uh, east of us, which we have yet to do. From there, we're heading up to Buffalo Point State Park in northern Arkansas. And up there, we're going to be doing some hiking, some mountain biking. Um, but overall, this is going to be like a 10-day trip, um, 10 or 11-day trip. We're going to take two days to get down there. We're meeting some folks in Oklahoma and then uh, traveling with them through Arkansas. So this will be one of our longer trips. The other trip that we've taken that's been this long has been our trip um, in 2020 down to Louisiana, Texas. Overall, we're pretty excited for the 10 day trip uh, where we're gonna get to do some hiking and, and some mountain biking, as well as see a new national park and really a state that we have not uh, camped in prior. So uh, it'll be exciting to see things that are around there and what we can do. Start heading east, that's something we haven't done in a while. Yep. Uh, from, from Buffalo Point, we'll actually just head straight home. Um, so we'll, we're probably going to cut that in a single day um, and try to get home quickly just to, just to kind of shorten the trip up on the backside. On the way out there, we want to make sure that we're taking our time so that we aren't just wrecked when we get to our first destination. So on the first part of the trip, we'll be testing out some new equipment. Um, number one, and we've talked about it already, is the Starlink. So we've tested it out at the house and we'll post another video testing it out at the house in a couple of weeks. Um, but we'll also be testing out like our Devos outdoor lights where we've again used those at the house, but not on a trip yet. We'll also be testing out something that we're testing out today, which is our lav mics. Uh, so to get the little uh, transponder or receiver or whatever out of our face and out of the way, um, we put some lav mics on and we're testing those today and we'll test those out on our trip as well. It's right here. <laughs> Anything else we'll be testing out on that trip? Yeah, so we just bought a new thermostat that we get to uh, check out. We'll install it, but won't have any use because we don't have power where we store our camper. Um, so that'll be probably the first time we run our AC with the new thermostat, which is called? It's Micro Air. I don't know what the name of the thermostat itself is. Um, but I do know that they have it set up for the Dometic thermostat uh, replacement. Uh, which, as far as I can tell, is a, a super easy replacement. Yeah. Uh, so we'll get to test that out. Other than that, I can't think of anything else we'll be testing, but 
certainly between now and that trip, we'll probably add some things to that list. Hi, how was your day today? He's staring me down. Our second trip of the season, uh, we will be headed to Southern Colorado and staying at Lake Isabel. The campground is Lake La Vista Campground. So this is a shorter trip. Yeah, just a couple of days, um, but we may tack onto it. So we're, we're trying to find some other stuff either in Southern Colorado, New Mexico, or Northern Texas. Uh, so Paladura is on our list that, as a maybe to, to tack on a couple of days to that trip. And also uh, Sugar Eat. So Sugar Eat Canyon again. Um, we did that two years ago, last year. Last year. We did that last year, but we are considering doing that again because we really liked our stay there. It was great. Um, the Most of the trails were flooded over, so we didn't get to hike a ton that we had planned. And during that trip, we were supposed to be at Palo Duro, but we got canceled because they had had so much rain that the, um, that the park was completely flooded and you couldn't get in or out. So they canceled our re reservation, which is how we ended up in big meadows reservoir big meadows reservoir yeah so pretty excited about this trip it'll be short if we can tack on a couple days it'll be about a week um but we'll get some more hiking and biking done yeah so those are the two camping trips we already have planned uh, more to come but those are the first two that we already have booked um we have some other travel plan that we'll talk about as well <laughs> Our last trip planned isn't necessarily camping related, but maybe. Could be. We're planning on going to Disney, making a couple trips this year, and hopefully attending some of the festival. Yeah, right now we're looking at Flower and Garden to see if we can get down for it, but... If not, we love food and wine, so we'll probably be there for that. I'd say, I would say with certainty we'll be there for food and wine and with some level of expectation i want to be there for flower and garden i was looking through the menus last night and there's some really good looking stuff on it particularly there's a chicken and waffles uh, at one of the uh, booths that looks excellent and i would like to try those are the plans we have currently. We're hoping to fill in with a couple things in between um, to make this year a really, really fun camping year as well as travel year. So that's what we have for our 2024 plans right now. We'll probably be adding to the list shortly. Do you have plans this year? Let us know if you have any recommendations for us. Thanks for watching. <laughs>